Gary Stearman. Time for an update from Prophecy in the News. In studio with me, Bob Ulrich. And Bob, uh, we're going to talk today about why you should study Bible prophecy. And uh, we have really an important subject to talk about today. Well, that's an understatement. Our favorite subject and something that is the reason we're Christians. We believe that there is a God. He knows the future. He's written about it in the Bible. And it's available to everyone for themselves to actually see. But sadly, very few people know anything about the prophecies of the Bible. Very, very true. And if they did, uh, they would find out it's the most exciting thing you can possibly read about. Uh, J.R. Church, founder of Prophecy in the News, <clears throat> loved Isaiah 46, 9 and 10. Remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is none else. I am God and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning, from ancient times of things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Well, Bob, that particular passage of Scripture says one thing loud and clear. Uh, not only is there a past, there's a future. God knows what it is. Secular minds say that you can't know the future because it hasn't happened yet. If you ask any science, scientist in the world today, he'll tell you, well, certainly there's no future. Well, the Bible says there is a future. God knows what it is. He has laid it out for a reason. And you can find out what that reason is if you study Scripture. Well, we were talking about a little earlier today that God has a plan. God had a plan. And this goes back into the ancient past, and, and it began with the fall of Lucifer from heaven. Uh, being cast down to the earth eventually and, and we did a program earlier today on your time travel book and we talked about the critical nature of the cross how Christ died on the cross at the appropriate time on that timeline of God's eternal plan yeah. we're towards the end of that timeline today and people need to be aware that this world isn't going to go on forever Brent uh, Miller and Company of Ingenuity Films made this DVD some time ago. It's called The Final Prophecies, and, and Bob can attest to this. This is without a doubt the most popular DVD we've ever offered. It is wonderful in that it gives you a, a, not only a factual but an emotional trip into the future of Bible prophecy. Bob, I don't know how many of these we've mailed out, but the demand just keeps rising. Uh, the folks from Ingenuity Films were here yesterday. They're making another uh, DVD set. Well, we, we certainly have sold a lot of their DVDs. In fact, they came here yesterday. It's amazing you can even speak today because they had, they had Gary in the studio for six hours uh, picking his brain on the book of Revelation. And they're producing a new series that's going to be out before Christmas that just yeah. sounds utterly fascinating. Uh, the Final Prophecies is literally the best prophetic DVD I have ever seen from start to finish. It's the kind of DVD that you're, you're not embarrassed to give to someone, someone in your family, someone who's unsaved. I mean, everybody is interested in knowing the future. People pay a lot of money to try to figure out what their future holds. Well, if you can't make a trip to the Middle East, this is the next best thing. The, the photography is just phenomenal. It, the the uh, production values are phenomenal. The script is great. The straightforward presentation of Bible prophecy is uh, without equal. I, ju I just love this DVD. And Brent Miller and his father, who came here yesterday, uh, were just amazing people. Uh, you know, his son wrote the entire script for this DVD. And when you watch it, I can remember the first time I saw it, it was, you know, in the wee hours of the morning, and boy, it was exciting. It was exciting for somebody who loves prophecy to actually see them start at the beginning, you know, with the scrolls, the ancient scrolls and the Hebrew prophets, and take us through science and biblical archaeology and the Red Sea crossing and, and all these things that the average person who's never read the Bible or doesn't know anything about the prophecies of the Bible has to watch it and just think to themselves, I never realized that right. God does know the future. He wrote it in the Bible. And so The Final Prophecies is literally the best-selling DVD in the history of our ministry. Uh, we have people buying 5, 10, 20 copies to give to other people. 
uh, it's that impressive a presentation. So I'm real excited about what yeah. they're doing because their new DVD, I believe it's called Decoding the Future, is on the Book of Revelation. And they've been over to Turkey, they've been over to the Middle East and Israel and Jerusalem and, and all over the world shooting film clips and footage for this. And to hear these two guys talk about it, boy, they are excited. The Book of Revel Revelation is exciting. And, and you know, it's been kind of a forbidden book, Bob. Uh, a lot of, uh, of people uh, have been discouraged uh, by uh, individuals with, with degrees from theological seminaries who, who say, in effect, well, you shouldn't study Revelation because it'll just confuse you and you really won't un be able to understand it. A and as I was talking to Brent Miller yesterday, I said, for me, all you have to do to understand the book of Revelation is to start in chapter 1, read it believingly, and, and read it through chapter 22, and you'll discover that it, it presents a beautiful, understandable picture of the future. Well, this is what I loved about the Millers. When, when they produced and, and scripted this, I mean, this is written for someone that's not going to turn someone off. Uh, you know, they refer to the Bible in the initial stages of the Final Prophecies DVD as the ancient writings of the Hebrew prophets. And, you know, it lures you in and draws you in, whether you're a Christian or whether a non-Christian. Yeah. It's just fascinating material. So they've written something, I think, that's down to earth, something that's understandable, something that is extremely well organized from start to finish, where it takes you through this trail where you come to understand the credibility of the Bible, and then you see the science behind the Bible and the archaeological proof of the Bible. And, you know, let's face it, the reason we're Christians is because of Bible prophecy. We know that if you know the future, you're either a highly evolved supernatural being or you're God. You know, it occurs to me that if you have a friend who's never been introduced to Bible prophecy and you'd like to get them interested, this is the DVD, the final prophecies. We're offering, by, offering it, by the way, as part of a package. My book, Time Travelers of the Bible, which is... Uh, an advanced study, shall we say, of the aspects of Bible prophecy uh, that run through the entire Bible. Uh, time Travelers of the Bible, uh, plus this, The Final Prophecies, plus a bonus DVD uh, in which J.R. Church and I discuss uh, Time Travelers of the Bible back in the days before it became a book. And uh, this package is called The Ancient Time Travelers Package. And ordinarily, this would be about $60 a year for $39.95 uh, plus shipping and handling. Ask for the Ancient Time Travelers Package, and they'll know what you're asking for. And, and you'll also get, really as a bonus, this DVD, The Final Prophecies. Give it to a friend, and I guarantee you the friend will come back and say, Wow, I never had any idea. This is terrific. Mm. I, I think that it's a way to spread excitement, Bob. Well, it really is. And, and you know, I, I commented to you a little while ago about your book, and, and you made a peculiar statement to me. You said, Bob, I, I've looked at this book that I wrote, and I just can't believe I wrote this. <laughs> and, you know, I've heard you say that before over the years about articles you've written where it was almost yeah. supernaturally channeled from another source. And after you wrote it down, you know, it, it wasn't all in your memory banks. And I read the book in the wee hours of the morning again last night for the third time and commented earlier that I'd like to, you know, be on, the, uh, on a little creek in a cabin in Colorado just with the book and no cell phone or email or people interrupting me or asking me for this, that, or the other thing because the book will challenge your viewpoint of God. And what the book really is, is it's 30 or 40 years of biblical research that probably could have been four books. Uh, you know, what you've put together there, you know, are things and subjects that the average Christian will never encounter right. in his lifetime in church. That's true. And, and you know, Bob, the, what the book is all about. If somebody were to ask me, the man on the street, what's Time Traveler's the Bible about? What it's about is the fact that the cross of Christ redeemed human beings, but redeemed much, much more. Uh, the cross also redeemed the, the broken heavens and the broken earth. And out of that is going to come a new heavens 
and a new earth. And it's the most exciting subject you can imagine. I'm glad you said that because, you know, the average person on the street today, you mentioned the book of Revelation or Bible prophecy. What's the first word that comes in their mind? Armageddon, uh, the end of time, the last days, and all these negative connotations. And, of course, if you read the book of Revelation and you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, it is definitely a scary book to read and an intimidating book. Uh, But if you know the Lord, you know these are steps and things that must take place before the end comes. We're getting close to that, as you call it, the timeline, uh, God's timeline. God's timeline, it's happening, and it's real. Bob, wish we had more time. We, we need to do, we need to talk again. Let's do it. <laughs> Gary Stearman, reminding you as always to keep looking up. <laughs> <laughs> 